I'm so stressed out. Like, literally, he's stressed out. <sighs> you know, like, when you way over your head with adult shit, like, way over your head. Like, it's, it's crazy. Like, it's always something, you know, you work hard. You try to take care of yourself and your family and your and your and your, th and your bills and stuff like that, and you don't never seem to catch a break. Like I can never seem to get over the hump, like literally. So I can't go to work because my car is told I owe two payments. The funny thing was I was going to pay half today, and then half next paycheck be you know caught up um and they came and took my car i thought it was a joke like literally came out and was like where's my car so now it's gonna cost me more money to get my car back than me just paying but my car no but you know sometimes you gotta pay peter what is it? No. You gotta rob Peter to pay Paul. Yeah, that's what it is. Like, owning a house is no joke. No joke. When I tell you there's no joke, it's no joke. And I definitely wasn't ready for this. I definitely wasn't ready for this shit at all. Like, mortgage, property tax, um, gas, electric, um, oil. Like, it's always something, right? It's always something. You, you you never stop paying for nothing, right? So, like, now you got to pay. It, it's cold, so now you got to buy oil for the oil tank. Um, you got to pay um, water, water. Um, it's just so much stuff. Like, it's like, all you do is pain, pain, pain. I feel like the hands that in the wheel and it's just going, you're just running, running, running and you're not going nowhere. That's the way I feel. That's the way I feel here. Like, literally. I'm so stressed out. Like, I don't even see the point of getting up. to go to work to do anything because it just don't seem like you winning and then when you look at other people and you're like how are they doing it like trying to open my own business trying to work i just can't seem to figure it out just don't know what to do I work overtime it's just, just never enough here it's never enough it's always something right it's always something we had electrical problems that cost us eight thousand dollars the roof I don't know what happened everything was supposed to be renovated in this house the roof is now gonna cost us ten thousand dollars to get fixed. Um, we got water damage from a, a leak from a storm last year. So we gotta get th those those two bathrooms fixed because they have water damage. Like, I just can't catch a break. Like, literally. I cannot catch a break. And now my car is totaled. So now I'm going to have to pay money that I can't pay for my house because I need my car so I can go to work to make money. <sighs> oh my God, I'm so freaking tired of this. 
you know, like when you're a kid and you're like, oh, I can't wait to be 18 and I don't have to live in your house. Big mistake. Big mistake. I wish I never would have said those words. I wish I never would have said those words. When I tell you I wish I never said those words, I wish I never said those words because I had no understanding. I had none. And I want to cry so bad, but I can't. Like, I refuse to cry because if I cry, I feel like I'm I lost and I'm beaten down. I just can never catch a break. When you have good things happening and you know, and I always be like, this is this really happening for me? Is this really happening? Because I'm expecting something bad to happen because it's always, it's always something. And when you look at other people's lives and you're like, how are they doing it? How are they making it? They look like they got it together. They look like they happy. They look like they're not financially struggling. And I am financially struggling. I got a good job and I'm still financially struggling. This shit does not make any kind of sense. This just doesn't make sense to me. And I can't figure it out. I'm so tired. When I tell you I'm tired, I'm so tired. 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 Because I can never seem to get over to the other side where things is happening and money is coming in and I'm able to pay all the bills without thinking that I have to hold off on this because this is more important right now and you just lose your way. You just lose your way. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I can't figure it out. I'm so stressed out. You're stressed at work. You're stressed at home. <laughs> like, I just don't understand what is it that I'm supposed to be doing here. Like, what is my purpose on this earth? I can't figure it out. Because I know damn well that I'm not supposed to be just working for my whole life, like working so hard for my whole life and accomplishing nothing. That's the way I feel. Like, why do life have to be such a struggle? I just don't understand. I just don't understand. I don't know. I just need to talk to someone because if I can like vent and get this out, I don't know what what will be happening. Cause I'm so angry. I'm so angry. I'm so angry. This shit is crazy. It's always a fucking struggle. Always. Always. And it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. And I just don't understand how I got here. Like, I don't know. I just don't know. I don't know how I got here. I just don't know how the rest of my friends is living the life. Because I can't figure out how to live the life. 
I just can't. <sighs> Tell me how y'all, how y'all make it. Like, how y'all doing it? I, I save, I budget, I, I'm still over my head. Maybe this was too soon for us to buy a house. Maybe it was too soon. I don't think we I don't think we was ready. I don't think we was ready. And I feel bad because I always wanted a house. And I think this was more more of my goal and dream than his. Now I feel bad because I done got us into this and I just don't know how to get us out and it's not fair to him. It's just not fair. <laughs> All right. I guess I'll see y'all in the next vlog. If I even vlog anymore. So. All right. <laughs>